Welcome to Boots and Boobs, double the players, double the D's, and double the fun. So, my name's Stephanie. I'm Ellie. And here's how our show is going to work. Um, I am going to be operating a computer mouse. I'm going to be operating a keyboard. And we are together going to cooperatively be playing a horror game on a computer. Um, so, without further ado, um, let's get started with this week's episode. Uh, we are doing Justine, the Amnesia DLC for you guys. Um, so, let's go! <laughs> That doesn't sound good. It's interesting that the screen capture doesn't show. Oh, hi. So basically, if we stay inside our cell, we're not gonna die. Stop being sick. Get up. Oh my god. Bienvenue. You are now listening to the sound of my disembodied voice. It will serve you no purpose to look for me, for this is a voice from the past. I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. It is my study of the human psyche, specifically yours. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead. Okay, okay, go on. There are a few parts to this study, and it is up to you, not only to pass, but to figure out what elements are important. Please go on. Move into the next chamber. Just remember, they can all be safe. There is always a way. Oh. I always think about this, like, how? People are gonna die. That's a strange key, not cute. What's. Oh. That is a scary noise. Can you crouch? Shift, Alt, Lantern. Oh, maybe we don't have any oil. All right, well, we're going crazy, oh. so we need to move. We're okay. Light. Um, okay, let's go. This is really atmospheric. This is horrible. All right, so keep going. There's nothing. No, don't look like that. Can't even pick up a rock. Great. So what? Oh, I bet it's something down there. Oh my god. We are hardcore freaking out right now. Which way? If this were Legend of Zelda, I would put a bomb on right there. Or not. I wish wow. this was Legend of Zelda because. Okay, you did that. Okay. I can crouch for a second. Left shift. Or control, yeah. Um, okay, let's take this one cell at a time. That's blood. Are you. Go in the corner, go in the corner. And crouch. Boy! Oh. 
Well, we might be having an auditory hallucination because we went into that one music person. Okay. Second of probably April. Salutation, Inspector Moreau of uh, the Sewer something French National. As you very well know, the Chief of Police in Calais has turned down my request to pursue Justine Forbell for stealing my son away. Ever since Sarah first started Alois, my son has forsaken his duties to his family and failed to pursue his career. Since the law seems unable to find a crime within the realm of Mademoiselle Justine's actions, I will ask you to receive Dr. Victor Fournier later this week. He is a respectable um, something, an expert in the human psyche, and he believes he may have found a legal way to incarcerate her. If he's able to diagnose her as a hysteric, it would provide you an ample excuse to have her locked up. I trust you, and your agency will not turn us down. Um, Cordial mint. Cordially yours, uh, Lucien Racine. Racine? Yeah. Whoever you are, if you could help me, I would be much obliged. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hide in the corner. <laughs> what is... Oh, I hate this game. Okay. Help me! Please, help me! I don't think I can. Alright, let's go forward a little. Oh, if we do anything, nothing's gonna come down and murder him. Uh, that's probably what that lover's for. Um, she did say you can save them. She's also probably a psycho. Yeah, these have to be auditory hallucinations of the people that were in these cells. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's the room he's in. Can you hear me? It's not too late to set things Calm right. Down. I know I'm not as talented as Malo or as strong as Basile, but Bas Basil, Basile, Basile, uh, but I'm certain, but I'm certain my love is true. Do not my scars tell you so? I will continue to cut myself as long as it pleases you. I would even kill Basile if you wish. I know you say you like it, but he is hurting you. I will trick him to consume the bromide. 
poor Justina will help. Just ask me to help, Eloise. Oh Stockholm Syndrome? Kidnapped him? Tennis, Tennis racket? Gonna beat people! Um, cockroaches. And... Shit's broke. Um, how do we get out? Don't pull up. No. How did you escape? Wait. It budged. Don't lie to me. Um. This is the way we came. Which is probably not helpful. Um. How about the. What's up there? Yeah, I'm looking. Have you seen Justine? Ow. Wait, wait. Go that way. There's. Oh, there's a thing. How do we get the thing open? We got- oh, we have a ladder bit. Maybe we just need to, like, jimmy the door open. Okay, well, at least we can hit it. Uh, let me try that tennis racket. <laughs> um, oh, the Bible! <laughs> help me! Please help me! Back up. <laughs> Alright, stop. <laughs> you reach. Oh my god! <laughs> that fun was amazing. It looks like it's sort of budging open. Wait, hang on. Can you hear me? It's not Maybe we just need to keep right. hitting it over and over no, and over again. To Get the box. Oh, what if we? Not, not. Oh, cool. Back up. Um. Okay, so our ladder fit. Oh, oh, we're gonna play a stacking game because that's how this is gonna work, probably. Uh, no, more boxes. Ugh. So we're probably gonna need to put like a chair, unless you can jump that barrel. <gasps> we're so close. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Ladder? Maybe we can hook it on while we're jumping. <gasps> yeah. We did the thing. Okay, this I think we just need to sprint, because this is terrifying. Shift, I think. Oh no! Just go! Just go! Just go! Just go! Oh my god! I hate this. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Go, go, go. Okay. Oh, okay. There's no cylinder. Okay. Well, we're in a new territory, so we should take it slow. Because there could be actual monsters and stuff here this time. Yeah, because that's the grate. That, yeah, so we came from there. We should probably do the bloody room first. Yeah, because this is not going to be open. Or it could be. <sighs> so far, we're being scared, but... Okay. Whoa! Okay. Get to the side a little. Oh my god. On this next piece, you should be looking for some divine inspiration. Time to delve into your spiritual side. What do you see? 
Is the man begging for mercy, or is he being blessed? Perhaps both. Father used to say there were no right answers. Have the light guide you. I kind of want to go back into the bloody room. <gasps> no! And, and, we there's can't, no save. and there's no save, so we can't go back. I hate how stupid we are. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna close doors behind us. Um, books, 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 note. Uh, the tests have been going well, the most long term, and in a sense, the most promising one is the light box. Having Justine choose a slide, essentially a mood for every day, is a great way to see the larger overall development of her mind. She definitely reads into the the slides um, I had not foreseen. Her remarkable imagination turns the characters into just about anything, and she is able to effortlessly reduce all of her experiences into one of the four character slides. Using the puzzle lock has proven more difficult as she tends to always choose two slides with characters facing the same way. I have asked her why this is, but she doesn't seem to fully understand why I'm asking. Um, slide? Slide one. Slides then. Knowledge is power. <laughs> what? Why? What else is in here? Oh, there's a broom in the desk. Go to the desk. Open. Tinder box. Tinder box. Do this next one. I hate how these statues are lining the entire floor. Oh, glowy thing. Fabergé egg? No, decorative egg. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, look, more tinder boxes. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Yeah. Yeah, but how do we know which ones to insert? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Do you want to try inserting slides? As it is in heaven, no, the, the kingdom of this, this world are become the kingdom. I can't hear you, what? We have to solve the puzzle. Well, there are still two more rooms that we haven't gone into. I know. With so let's, let's leave probably with clues. Yeah. Let's go this way. Oh, yay, one of these. Close, 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 close. Book, tinderbox. Slide. Slide three. One more. No, I think we have all four. No, slide three. Yeah, we picked up four in the last room. So they set a light box and we have slides, so it's probably a, like a projector thing. That thing. That's boarded up for probably a good reason. Did I do that? Dude. Number two. 
sword. Stabby. Praying for mercy. Proud. Wait, go back to the note. Oh, they have to be facing each other. She she tends to always choose two slides with the characters facing the same way. Okay, so um, there should be a pen over there. I have a notebook here. Ooh. Okay, let's run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gonna go. Let's go hide in this room. Look at that riddle again. Close the door. Why did that happen? I don't know. Maybe she has some. Oh, there's a note. God, I'm an idiot. Today I played outside with Clarice. We saw a bird pick at a snail. It carried it off and landed on the lawn fence. The snail had a shell and it cracked. Clarice cried and I comforted her. The new maid heard us and came out and scolded Clarice for playing with me and the birds took off in the air. Today I was the one with open arms. There's another note. Wait, open arms. That was slide one. Today I played with the slides from Father's Life books. Above all, I liked the man standing to the right. Father asked why I said he sees things he liked. Today Wait. I was the right one. Standing to the right. Okay, so that's probably slide four. Father said I picked the wrong side yesterday when I made the chambermaid crack. He wanted me to pick the one with the sword while I picked the man on the right. I never picked the one with the sword. Today I was the one kneeling. So number three. Yeah. Today Father came for me in my room. I still couldn't look at him in the eyes. He said I shouldn't feel ashamed and that I could only try to fill the void left by Mother. When he was looking, I took the star stone from his collection. Today I was done with the sword. Okay. Um, go back to the original note. Alright, she always ch chose two slides with characters facing the same way. So, three and four are facing the same way, and one and two are facing the same way. So, she never picks the one with the sword, but she did when she was 11. Um, she was supposed to pick the one with the open arms, but didn't. So I was the one kneeling and I was the one here? Facing the right. I was right one today. Okay. So what do we think? Three and four? Yeah. Because, like, is the man begging or is the man begging. being blessed? Yeah. Alright, mister. King of kings. Lord. So three and four? Does it matter the order? I don't know. No, no. Wait, which came first? The... Uh, no, let's go through the notes. Between all those notes oh, for different ears. Soldier. So open arms. I was the right one, so that was the first that she mentioned. And today I'm kneeling. So four and then three. Okay. So four goes on top. This makes me really nervous. Alright, are we ready? Look out for your feet. She may still be close. Okay. Um, something moved. giving us the lantern if we're never going to use it. I wonder, is Father David with his god now? Maybe you helped him there. Don't you worry. I'm sure he didn't have a family. He probably wasn't even all that well liked. With the current political climate, I'm surprised someone hasn't killed him already. We can't all be saved. Some don't even want to be saved. Yes, that is a comforting thought. Um, no, I think we probably did the slides right, and then if we had done them wrong, then he probably would have died. Sure. 
Hey guys, Stephanie here from Boots and Boobs, coming to you from post-production. We neglected to do an outro for this week's episode, um, so here I am, saying thank you guys very much for watching, uh, and stick around on the ECD's YouTube channel for more future content from Boots and Boobs. Thanks so much.